Welcome everyone to the very first playthrough series where I am going to actually play through some of my games starting with Contra Force Ultimate. And um, it's going to be pretty good because rather than have other people do it, you know, why not get all of the secrets, tips, and tricks from the guy who actually created the game. So this game did take me over a year to create. It's one of my best works. And it is a combination of almost all of the Contras put together, but I will explain that as we go through. So let's get started. This is, of course, the title screen where you can pick your controller, or you can pick your keyboard, tutorial, very straightforward, and you just hit the start button to start the game. This is the story of the cutscenes that I put in. It's not exactly the same as the original game because the original one didn't really make much sense. So I wanted to spruce it up a little bit. <laughs> so your mission is to gather all of the secret documents on the location of Red Falcon's hidden underground lair. <laughs> you know, it's your typical, you know, Contra story, right? So basically uh, Red Falcon in my version, which is the alien uh, invasion has almost taken over the world. And some of the people, some of the terrorists have actually just joined up with Red Falcon this time around in order for total world domination. So here is the stage select, and you can select all of the stages except for the alien one at the end because you have to gather all the information first by passing these three series of stages before you can make it to the end part because you have to get the secret you know documents to find out where they are so we're going to start this playthrough is only going to be well it's going to be in sections and we're just going to start with this first one which is basically the levels of contra one so let's do it so right off the bat you're going to notice that you can not like your bullets don't go all the way to the end of the screen either some other ones you can increase the length of your bullets those are your powers for your weapons and you have four characters to choose from this time and also you can't shoot diagonal down because this is contra force not regular contra so you're gonna have to jump to shoot diagonal down like that and then of course i died right away <laughs> that's okay because you got three other dudes you also have nuke bombs that you can use at any given time that will also destroy everything on the screen, including projectiles. And I will show you, but there's a little secret right here if you just keep going past this. Ooh! I had to put in that bomber in there from uh, Contra Alien Wars for Super Nintendo just because I thought it was cool. Now we are playing Burns. You can switch your characters at any given time. Like that. Now we are a different character. Whoops. I'm a little rusty. Bear with me. So we'll just stick with Burns for, or uh, Beans for now. Did I say Burns before? I meant Beans. I get them confused. I didn't come up with the names. The names are <laughs> what they are in the original Contra Force. Now at this part you're going to have... Uh, these, uh, what do you call it, uh, these turrets pop up out of nowhere, so take it slow, and when they pop up, just blow them away. Beans also has his plastic explosives. Oh, there's drone. That's cool, so that gives you even more firepower. Power up someone else. Now we're Smith, and Smith is the sniper, so he has the longest range in the game. He also has a pretty cool sub-weapon, too. Boom, they explode, and they explode on a, uh, a horizontal base. See, so they're good for destroying stuff. It's one of the, one of the better sub-weapons, actually. Use your jumping quite a bit to dodge bullets and maneuvers, because I made the jumping really, really maneuverable in, in midair, just kind of like the original Contra was as well. Now we're heading up to the first boss, which I also made some changes to as well, you will see. So first kill the sniper on top, then you got to kill the other things. But as time goes on, you're going to see on the bottom, eventually, you got to watch out because this huge laser cannon comes out and boom! I had to add that just as like a little secret. So you can use your guns or you can use your sub-weapon. Sub-weapons will always deal more damage. Whoops! That's okay. 
There we go. Now we're gonna wait for the uh, the gun to blast one more time, and then I'm gonna use my plastic explosives because they deal the most damage. Or you can just sit here and just you know humble away at it. No, it's dead, and that's it. We're on to the Aztec ruins. And I changed it because this is basically going to be a side... This is a level that's not even in any of the Contras because it's uh, my own personal modification of the... Uh, I don't know what you'll call them. Like the 3D type stages where you had to run forward in the original ones. But this time I've made it a complete side-scroller. Tried to give it some similarities like you got the electric beams in there that zap you. Oh, there's barrier. That will make you indestructible. And a little secret here... It will destroy these. See? It'll destroy the zappers. Now that, that, that's something that no one's going to tell you but me. <laughs> no one's going to know that, I mean. That's a super secret. Okay, let's pick a different character. Let's try to use Smith here. We've been using beans too much. Smith is really, really good. He's one of the better characters because he gets spread fire. Who doesn't love spread fire? My spread fire is better because I made it more like the Super Nintendo version. It's faster. It's not so laggy and uh, it always does spread. You notice the way in the original Contra when you had spread gun, it doesn't really do spread all the time. If you have, especially if you have rapid, if you're using, um, what do you call it? Auto fire controller. Now these you want to jump over. You don't just want to run through them because the actual electrical uh, outlets on the bottom, they will kill you as well. So do not touch them. Just be patient. Go through it and make sure that you jump through. I'm just going to nuke those guys out of the way. Watch the snipers. Get the power-ups as much as you can. There. Ah! And that is a super trick too. Notice the way I had the drone. It exploded there. That explosion will kill enemies as well. So it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a drone... I don't know last ditch explosion die already why is this guy alive all right there's a part to use grenades on if anybody's like vertical on on pillars and stuff like that it's a really good time or you can use smith is good too because of his range uses uh see the vertical sorry horizontal bombs boom see, even the enemy's bullets don't go all the way so you can kind of run away from them if you want farther back that you can go. Boom! And that does vibrate the controller too. I got great haptic, haptic feedback in the game. And I think this is the boss now, so I gotta be prepared. Who would be the best? I'm gonna say burns, and then I'm just gonna just start spamming grenades the minute that you're in this room. Because it's a supercomputer! Just grenade everywhere. There we go. Boom. Boom. Yeah! Ah, oh, right when I destroyed it, too. <laughs> I forgot. Not all projectiles can be destroyed by the, the uh, Death Blossom nuke blast. And every single level that you pass, you will always get all of your men back, and you will keep your power-ups. As you can see, see, Bean still has his uh, wave gun. Let's be burned. Now watch out for the boulders falling. You cannot destroy them this time around. They are just straight up obstacles to be avoided. Avoided at all cost. That should give me, whoa, 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 whoa. See, even I'm the creator and it still gives me sweaty palms. <laughs> but at least I got auto fire, which is pretty cool because this way you don't need an auto fire controller. You can just, oops. Beans is the, or sorry, Burns is the one who has the total auto fire. I hate it when those soldiers just drop on your head out of nowhere. You gotta remember to shoot up. Keep shooting up. Whoa! It was giving me a nuke bomb anyway, so I might as well have used it. You can't hold more than two. And that Smith's rocket launcher works great. Oh, I'm sick of all of you. Oh, come on. I was shooting forward. You saw me shooting forward the whole time. But I wanted to make it challenging because 
The Contras are originally challenging. Only people who have totally mastered them make it look easy. But believe me, when we were playing these games back in the day, they were, yeah, they were no joke. Especially the arcade. Total quarter munchers. Don't believe me? Give it a try. Now we've maxed out Smith's main weapon, and he gets the classic lasers from the original. Made them slightly different, but they're still good. Uh, yeah, there we go. Got a free man, got a man back for that. That's what the Medipack does. And if you have all of your men are still alive and you got the Medipack, you will get a one of those barriers around your characters again. Switch, grab the power up. Whoops, that was the wrong guy. I meant to switch to Burns for that. I wanted to get his power up back. Okay, now... This is going to be the big alien head thing with arms. I don't know what you call it, so I'm just going to blow him away with the laser beam. Laser beam will deal more damage than your regular guy, other guy's bullets. Spread fire also does very well for damage. Oh, look out when he charges up. He's going to do super laser. And other than that, his arms will block your bullets. So... Can also use boom 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 remember your secondary weapon will deal tons of damage see boom blow them away use your imagination there really isn't any real specific character sometimes you can use it all depends on i guess who you like the most some situations are i'm not saying all of them but now we're on the snow fields this is one of my favorite stages i added snow you can see the snow periodically falling just adds a nice little effect Oh, come on. I knew that guy was there. Grenade! Grenade! Oh, I'm doing terrible. We may, have to, we may have to continue on this stage. I'm doing horrible. I apologize. I've already lost two guys right at the beginning, and the stage is really long. Great music, though. With burns. We don't want to lose iron with a spread gun. Whoa. Yeah. My palms are sweating. Need that, but I need it with iron. There we go. You have about eight seconds before any power ups disappear. Oh, I really shouldn't be him. I need to save this guy. Will that reach? No. Nothing reaches. I nuked. I nuked. I didn't care. I nuked. There's a nuke here anyway. Okay. Classic divers with their exploding grenade cannons. Just kind of just take it slow. Have a look. Their pattern is random how the, uh, the kind of like grenades pop out of them. Okay. Here's a cool tip. Beans and his plastic explosives are super good for defeating these tank-like mid-bosses. You will deal with them in like no time, see? That's a good tip. And keep pressing on because there are multiple mini-bosses I've put in the game. Yeah! jump over the explosions. I don't think the actual grenades or whatever those are, those are artillery things in the background, they don't kill you, but the explosion will. Now watch out because there are soldiers that jump out of these, uh, see, he jumps out of the, the forest over there. Oh, cool. Oh, that helped. I forgot I put that in. <laughs> Even I can't remember everything. <laughs> Come on, die. There go. There's another tank. Make sure to use your plastic explosives. It's a very satisfying game, man. Like, it's... I don't know. I have the essence of Contra put in perfectly. Oh, I totally needed that. Thank you. Very, very satisfying just running, gunning, and shooting. 
definitely captured the essence of Contra. Yeah, you can't kill those divers, though. So don't even try. Okay, this is this boss. I'm gonna try and just nuke the crap out of him as quickly as possible. You don't really want to waste too much time with this guy. It's the, I don't know what you call it, the UFO. He's gonna stop. He's gonna shoot those. And he's gonna stop and he's gonna drop a huge bomb after these. Gotta shoot those. Wow, where's the bomb? There it is. Boom! Got him. We got him! We got him! And we didn't need to continue. Oh, the energy zone. Such a classic. Let's see, who do we want to be? Who do we want to be? Who do we want to be? We want to be Smith. Range is good. Oh, nice barrier straight up. This part is a little difficult. You could nuke here if you wanted to, but if you did get the barrier, you're good to go. Oh, watch the fire. Wah! Whoa. That was so close. Where the hell's the fire? I can barely see. You gotta look for the little breaks in the pipes. See the little break up there? You know where the fire is coming out. Okay, I explained this trick before, but I'll explain it again. This is a really good tip. People are really going to get stuck here if they don't know this. Pick Beans, because Beans is the only character who can lie down on the ground. So his hit detection is so low, see? It's low enough that he can duck underneath these flames. And just take it slow. You definitely don't want to die with this guy here. Because <laughs> then it's going to be just even extra hard getting through this part. Who was the asshole who made this game so difficult? Ah, oh, I can't reach him. Hold on, someone's got to reach him. There we go. Smith with the longest range. I don't know what's in this thing. No, it's just a power-up. So. Burns! Barrier! I don't know if it works against the fire, though. I don't know if it works against the fire. We can test it. I can't tell. Yes, it does. Okay, it works. Ah, oh, but it wore off. Oh my god. God, it wore off. But it does. The the barrier does work against the flames. So, I did think of that. Oh, get out of here, you jumping ass. Ooh, nice. All right, screw you, noob. Oh, come on. I didn't even see that there. Do I want- Oh, Beans is dead! Oh, no! But that's okay. We're pretty much past the hardest part. Jump! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, who is this? Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, okay. We should be able to waste him with this. Okay, you don't want to- This is like the football playing alien or whatever it's called. I changed the graphics on him to make him look better. But you really got to watch out. You don't want to waste too much time with this guy. Ah, I forgot you can't kill those. Whoops. He's gonna start shooting missiles everywhere. Ah. Yes! Oh my goodness. That was desperation. <laughs> Pure desperation. Yes, he jumps, he throws things out on the ground. He pretty much does the same thing he does in the original game. Okay, here's the final stage. Whoa. Can't even take your hand off the controller for a second unless you pause it. Uh, this is the new pause screen. There's not really anything to it. It just shows the characters and their weapons and sub-weapons. Same trick. You can use beans to duck underneath these. The uh, falling claws. So I think we want. 
out for the spawn holes. You never know when soldiers will jump out of them. And of course I had to put in the moving, I don't know what you call those, the, uh, the buckets or whatever. Now watch out for these. Okay, go slow. If this is, I designed this part for anybody who wants to just try and rush through this very quickly. You can't do it because these spike walls will pop up right in front of you and they will, they'll get you. And watch out because even though they're exploding when they're dead, like right there, you can still touch them and they'll still kill you. It's just my own little sadistic thing that I put in the game. Okay, who do we want? Well, oh, see, like, right there? That almost got me. The claws going down is pretty self-explanatory. Just take it slow and then watch out. Because you never know where one of those walls are going to pop up. Now here, you can't... Yeah, see, you can't jump up and reach that. You have to wait. Like, if you want to be greedy and get it and you want to be patient, you have to wait for the barrel thing to come back. I should make it move faster. It goes pretty slow. But it's worth it because you get drone. The drone is good. The drone is very good. Because when you have burns, it also gives drone auto fire as well. Aha! Another tip for you. Damn, now I gotta wait for these to come back to get up top. You technically don't have to go up top. I just want to. Ooh. Oh, that should give me barrier. Sweet! The barrier will not help you on these walls, so don't try. <laughs> uh, who's got whatever? There we go. Always kind of remember who's been powered up and who isn't. Because you don't always want to be stuck with your pea shooter gun, you know, your original gun, because it still is the worst, just like it was in all the Contras. Oh no, it landed on the thing! Oh no, wow! This is too much! Do I want to stay on the bottom? Okay, if I die, I want to die with the worst character. Okay. Whoa! Uh, ah! I touched it. I couldn't see. I touched it. Try not to jump too high here because you can get hit by those spikes that are on the top as well. Why am I pushing the button? I have auto fire, stupid. Okay. Jump! Come on, give me flamethrower. Ah! There's flamethrower. Okay, flamethrower is pretty cool. Ah, oh, right when I got it! Frick. Okay, uh, who is this? Okay, this is going to be the super tank. Okay, this is the super tank boss, and I think this is the final boss for this playthrough so far. So I did manage to actually get through the entire thing so far without having to even continue. Okay, so this guy's the same thing. He's not too difficult. He is a new boss that was never in the original, but just keep shooting him as much as you can. Oops, that was my bad. Yeah, watch me die on this guy now. Ah, oh, see, I did. I can't believe it. I jinxed it. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, he shoots, see, his gun, uh, uh, the turret gun on top will always be aiming towards you. So you kind of have to jump over it sometimes, but as you jump, you got to be careful because the tank will shoot that stupid huge bullet out and uh, will get you just like you saw. So there it is. There's the first walkthrough. I know, I know these videos are going to be long, so I'm just going to cut it short right now of the first stage of Contra Force, the first part of it. And so this is going to be a four chapter walkthrough for the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it so far and um, I'll see you in the next one. Sure.